What beer are you going to try next? I know what I'm going to try. Hope you're doing well tonight, today, wherever you're at in this world. Um, so I have another awesome one. Um, this is 3-1-2019, <laughs> March 1st. I believe I have three more days left of Stout Week. <laughs> so I have a really good... One, I, I really like this one a lot and it's just uh, it's they've always they, they really brew really good beer um, it's by Anderson Valley Brewing Company um, and it is they're out of uh, Boonville California and uh, it's called the Barney Flats Oatmeal Stout so and the percentage is 5.7 percent let's open her up Wow, we have like a three and a half finger head here. <laughs> Let's see what the retention's like, eh? It's going down fairly fast, but not too much. Bigger bubbles, probably medium head retention there. Um, it's got kind of a cocoa looking head. Um, very opaque very very you cannot see through this it's black it's got a bit of a red in the light you can see a bit of a, a red tinge to it so definitely using dark dark malts uh, dark barley and this that um, with the oatmeal there it shrunk down after about 45 seconds or so to about a finger finger and a half Still has some pretty big bubbles. It's not super satiny or anything. Just, uh, you know, just kind of smooth looking, but bubbly. <laughs> carbonated, I'm sure, maybe a little carbonated, I don't know. Um, smell it. Oh, boy. It's like a chocolatey. Chocolate notes coming through, kind of grainy smelling. It kind of smells like a double. <laughs> Weirdly enough, I had another one that smelled like a double too. <sighs> Real malty, somewhat sweet. Oh yeah, definitely packed with malt, dark malts. Smooth smelling though, it smells kind of rich. It smells tasty. Not too hoppy. What's the taste? Ooh. Coffee. That's what I was getting out of it. it smells, and I'm getting a taste of the coffee. A bit of a coffee, dark chocolate note to it. Uh, dark chocolate uh, taste, should I say? Um, dark chocolate uh, smell as well. Coffee, actually. Now that th I'm thinking about it, I'm I'm actually smelling a little. I'm coffee actually there smelling too. a little coffee there too. I'm actually smelling a little coffee there too. I'm actually smelling a little coffee there too. I'm actually smelling a little coffee there too. Um, I, I like woke up. <laughs> Drank this and woke up. I was like, whoa. No, this is good. This is really, really full body. Nice, smooth mouth feel. Uh, uh, black, uh, like, uh, roasted barley. Uh, kind of a, uh, uh, weirdly enough, kind of a roasted coconut flavor to it, which is strange. No esters or anything like that. Uh, I don't believe any phenols or anything. Um, just, just 
straight up dark barley, dark malts, and that oaty kind of smoothness from the oatmeal. Nice, thick, rich feeling in the throat going down. Not too bitter, just a slight bitter, but not super bad. I'm not getting a whole lot of um, hoppiness with this. Um, it's a little more uh, sweeter, maltier, and just smooth, rich, and coffee-like, uh, chocolate-like, which is actually up to par with style. I mean, let's talk about this. So, kind of a tanginess. Um, what's the... But yeah, with the light, you can kind of see it's a dark brown. It's opaque though, definitely. You know, and it's not really coating the the glass, but it definitely co coats the throat. <laughs> nice smooth coating. It's nice. Um, not a whole lot of information on on the can, but like you're basically with an oatmeal stout. I guess it would fall in lines with an Irish uh, But the stout. texture definitely is, on these are smooth and, 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 and kind of a rich texture. So um, you're looking at about 20 to 50 our SRMs and a dark brown to a black and definitely opaque. You can't see through it. So, you know, this kind of really falls, it falls through, it falls to this, uh, the style guidelines right, quite well. Um, roasted malt character, uh, caramel-like, chocolate-like, smooth, not bitter. Um, getting that kind of stuff out of this, uh, definitely not bitter. It's real uh, clean tasting and just real smooth. Goes down real nice. Um, ABVs usually on these are real low, like from 3.8 up to about 6%, and this is 5 5.7, so it's pushing it. Um, just like I like to make beer, you know, I like to push the limits. So, but. Uh, IBUs are like 20 to 40. Food pairing, uh, you're looking at something like uh, chicken and mole sauce, um, aged cheddar, and get this, sweet potato cheesecake. I told my wife about that and she brought up a recipe right away. I was like, oh my goodness, you gotta make something like that. That just sounds so good, I love sweet potatoes. Um, so anyway, the glass that you should be using is something similar to this. Uh, that's why I use this. I would have used my other one. Um, I didn't get as much of a smell out of this as I would have used the other, but or like maybe a snifter or something like that. Uh, snifters are for more of a higher percentage. Uh, you can use them for uh, tastings and stuff like that too. It's great. But um, you want to serve it at 50 to 55 degrees Fahrenheit. Esters are, uh, the, 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 it's very low in the fruitiness or anything like that. It's just straight malt, malt forward beer. Uh, phenols, none. Uh, bo uh, the body is mouth coating. So just kind of throwing things at you. And, um, but like this beer totally is up to par with everything that style guidelines call for. Um, it's got a great overall taste to it. It's very easy drinking. It's not something that you're going blah to, you know, it's real nice. So I give this definitely, since it's gone by style and everything's cool, I give this, I, I give this a 10, man. Um, it, it really is good. It really is tasty and I would totally buy a sixer of these. Um, that's how smooth it is. I mean, I'm used to IPAs, but to drink something like this, it's nice. You know, it's real, it's real subtle. It's a lower percentage. I'm used to a 6.8, so a 5.7, of course, is going to texture of what I would normally. So be I have used to, to adjust it. feeling on my mouth. You know, um, it's not going to be the same. So I have to kind of adjust. It's got good flavor, and that oatmeal really does a number. Another one I really like is an oatmeal pale ale. Look those up. Fort George makes a great one over here in Astoria, Oregon. So anything with oatmeal is just amazing. And it's so healthy for you, you know? Um, of course, the alcohol is not always super healthy, but hey. <laughs> it's fun to get a little buzz sometimes. Anyway, thank you guys so much. Uh, please comment. Uh, let me know what uh, stout beer you'd like me to try next. I've got a, what I said about uh, three days left, so... I do have a couple beers lined up, so there is one slot for you to mention. Yeah, I am still I am eyeballing that milk stout. I got these over at Seaside Wine and Beer House again. 
Uh, very awesome place. It was really happening tonight. Everyone was sitting around drinking. It was a fun, fun looking environment. So it's something I might have to try sometime. Um, but uh, just uh, thank you so much for your support. And thank you, Drunken One, so much for your support and your your help with with uh, just connecting with people and getting subscribers and getting people to watch my show. Uh, you, you truly are a, a warrior. You truly are a, a great person, and you deserve so much. Um, thank you uh, for for supporting the beer uh, com uh, culture and community, um, as as I do as well. And uh, I just appreciate you, man. Peace, brother. Uh, much love. All right, bro. Uh, bros and bras. Um, we're gonna we're gonna head out. So uh, subscribe. Hit that bell for more shows to come. Um, and I, uh, I really look forward to doing my next one tomorrow. All right, peace. Have a good night, day, wherever you're at in this world. All righty, bye-bye.